Wednesday, God's wonderful Wednesday morning. Hey, Pastor Redman, how are you guys today? How you doing? It's a wonderful Wednesday. It's nice outside as far as the sun is still shining. The sun is still shining. Woke up this morning. He went, allowed us to wake up another day that wasn't promised to us. Hey, Sister Mullins. God's day. He gave us another day that wasn't promised to any of us. Um, allowed us to, to wake up. Gave a, didn't recycle yesterday and give it to us today. Gave us a brand new day. I love it. I'm grateful. Sorry, my daughter. <laughs> God say y'all, how y'all doing on this wonderful Wednesday? This blessed, wonderful Wednesday. Um, God is so great. Look, great name. This is um, this is on Pastor Key's um, new. Uh, release album and this is um, Great Name featuring T Miss Tally Rogers I know I love her she can sing she's um, Great Name which is a great name Jesus Great Name no other name like his okay no other hey how are you guys say how you doing Great Name but I'm just, I was just talking about how grateful we are that God has allowed us to make it this far. Here she go. This Tally Rogers, y'all. Great name. No other name like his. Great name. So I'm grateful for how, how God has brought us this far. He allowed us to make it um, with so many other things going on in the world. He didn't allow those things to be a part of our name. I'm glad God allowed us to be a part of the wake up list. We was on the we on the wake up list this morning. That's always a blessing. Thank you, God. For allowing us to be on that wake up list. Listen, who else does that? Nobody else does that like that but God. He allowed you to wake up this morning. You might not be 100%, might not be feeling your best, but God has allowed you to come this far with no hurt, harm, or danger. You're not doing anything else besides trying to get your mind on aches and pains. Hey, Miss Felicia, how are you? God say, without you trying to get your, all you're trying to do is get your little minor aches and pains, making you feel better or whatever the case may be. But God, he woke you up this morning. We are part of that wake up list. I'm always grateful. Every time you, I, I open up my eyes, I am excited. I'm happy. Even though it might not be the day you be like, oh, Lord, today I got to do this. Today I got to do that. But it's nothing like allowing your name to be up on that wake up list. Let's, that's a blessing. Come on, wake up list. <laughs> so be grateful for those things that God has allowed you to do and come this far. He didn't have to do those things, but I'm glad he did. And I'm glad he, he touched each and every last one of us this morning. Um, I pray that y'all are doing well with your fast. Um, that we've been we've been on. Um, Bishop has asked at the church, um, do a fast from five hours from the time you wake up um, until the end of the year, every day until the end of the year, besides Christmas, um, besides um, the 25th. And, and prayerfully that everyone is um, jumping on board and being a part of this. And if you, um, you, it's still not too late. You can still jump on board. But for those that have already started, how has God really started moving already in the past couple of days of you doing this fast? Five hours a day. 
It's not bad. It's not bad. You replace that with praying. You replace that with reading your Bible. You replace that with other things that's normally not what you, you know, if you, instead of you eating, you're doing something else in the place of that, which is getting closer to God. Um, praying about some things that you've been trying to get, um, you've been needing from him, or you just want to get closer to him. Or It's not even about, as I always say, it's not even about materialistic things. It's not even about the um, uh, uh, money or anything like that. It's just about their relationship, about getting closer to him. A lot of people still don't know who he is. A lot of people still don't know who he is, so they still don't believe what he can do. He's been doing this for them their entire lives, and they still don't believe. They still don't care. They still don't believe. They think that they think they woke their own selves up. I've never understood why you think you are the reason why you're here on this earth. People, uh, people think like that. They feel like they they're the reason why they are um, where they are in their lives is because of them. And um, uh, when God has watched over you your entire life, and you still here, you still walking around on his earth <laughs> something that he created um don't think it was you because if it was you your life wouldn't you would have never went through no struggles you would have already picked the way you want your life to be if this was if, if, if it was you that had did these things um as far as waking yourself up every morning which or you know, whatever time you get up if it was you that made sure that you had a roof over your head clothes on your back why are you we don't even we wouldn't even need him your life would be perfect from the time you were born up until now. You wouldn't have no struggles. Because everybody wants their lives to be perfect. Everybody wants to have a lot of money. Everybody wants to have the perfect life. Um, to have, live in a perfect house. Everybody wants those things. And if that was you that created those things for that to happen, then you, you're not doing a very good job at it, are you? You need God. <laughs> I'm just saying that means you would already done picked it out and say, I'm just going to have a great life. I'm going to have all the money. I'm going to have all this. That means you don't even, you don't need, that means God has nothing to do with anything, which we know that it's a, that's a lie. God created it all. He did it all. And if it wasn't for that, um, him doing the things that he has done, you wouldn't be where you are right now. So don't, 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 don't think that you the one that woke yourself up. It was your alarm clock. It wasn't. Okay. It was not. It was none of those things that, um, that you feel like that you done on your own. Hey lady, how are you? God say, how you been? I haven't talked to you in what, about a month or two? Been about two months? <laughs> how you been? <laughs> um, but that's why I said, don't take those things for granted. Be grateful for the things that you have done. Um, if, like I said, if you want to continue to be a part of this fast, it's not too late. Um, if, you, if you have not already, you can start tomorrow. We're doing five hours a day from the time you wake up. Um, and um, just getting closer to God and, and praying about some things that you would love to see moved in your life. And um, that's what Bishop has asked. And he didn't give us an exact reason. He just says for personal reasons and it's for um, other reasons or whatever. But this, he just want everybody to stand in agreement with him. I'm not saying you have to. I was just to let me, letting y'all know if y'all wanted to be a part of what we were doing um, at church, that y'all can be a part of it because... Um, it's sending that offer out to everybody to be a part of that um but you are more than welcome to to be a part of what we're doing and it's until the end of the year every day besides christmas um somebody had asked could they could we um not make it christmas or whatever so um that's the only day but other than that that's what we're doing but for those that have already started and have already been a part of it and doing it um how has this um with you getting closer to God fasting or whatever, how has that helped you if you are doing it? Um, but I would just love for us to just to, to really, really get to know he is. There's so many different things that you didn't even think that was going to happen in your lifetime. And, and it is happening now. I was reading um, something um, earlier about the delivery driver. He's delivering pizza. He's trying to make a living. And y'all trying to rob him for what? And then what happens to to what he did to 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 them? It's kind of like, oh, okay, well, I mean, like I, like uh, it was somebody I seen post, and they they tired, and people are getting fed up with that kind of stuff. Like you can't keep doing people any kind of way and think people are just supposed to just take that. 
and relax from it and not do do anything about it. Time, I know time has changed. It's so different from what we we're used to to seeing or what's the, what we're so used to doing. But that's why I always say, make sure that you got your life right with God. You're getting closer to God. You know who He is because in that event that you don't know who He is, you will be lost. You will not know. Um. You, you won't be going where you think you're going if you don't have your life for him. That's why I say get closer to him. Um, whoever just joined, I can't see it. But God's day, I can't see it because the sun is facing me. And I can't see it, but I just seen it pop up. Um, God's day. Um, but that's why I say make sure that you got your life close, uh, right with God. Because God is doing some amazing things. And um, these people in this world are not. <laughs> he has never stopped doing the great things that he has done. But we just take we take things for granted, and we take we take things into our own hands, and we think we God. I'm just gonna take somebody's life because I think I'm God. No, you not. You you quit thinking that you 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 run stuff. You you don't. <laughs> we used to say when we was younger, you ain't running nothing but your mouth and your bath water. <laughs> That's what we used to tell people. Oh, girl, hush, you ain't running nothing but your mouth and your bath water. That's how, because that, that's, that's, I mean, because you're, if, like I said a few minutes ago, if you are the person that um, think that you woke yourself up, you, you are the person that think that you started yourself on your way, that you always, then your life will never have any struggles. You will always have a perfect life. Like nothing will ever go wrong. Your life will never have any flaws, any issues or anything. If it was you, because you'll pick it out. Oh, today I'm just going to have just this. I'm going to wear this and I'm going to have everything. I don't have to go to work. I don't have to do anything for nobody else. I don't have to support nobody else. I don't have to do any of the, this is my life and it's going to be A1. It's going to be perfect. If we have that type of life, <laughs> then what we need God for? Oh, okay, so you need God. Think about it like that. If it wasn't, your life would be perfect if you didn't need God because you let, that lets you know who created it. He allows you to have the type of life that you, but you got to put something into it. Listen, these folks, they don't want to do nothing. Okay, I ain't going to talk about that. <laughs> they don't want to do anything. Listen, but um, as I was stating before, just be, just, just get closer to God. That's why I was talking about the fasting. Bishop has asked all, all of us to fast five hours a day, starting from the time that you wake up. And um, in the midst of that, you do your fasting, when you're doing your praying and, you, you know, reading scriptures and you're getting closer to God or whatever. And give, let him know some things that you have been praying for that you've been needing from him. Um, which is always, always a blessing. But um, just get closer to him. Folks, I told you it's the holiday season. Um, people are out here doing crazy things. Listen, and when I see, because my job did this, and they, they sent out this paper and they were saying happy holidays or whatever. And I was like, happy holidays. We just don't take Christmas, just Christ out of Christmas. We put this X in front of it. I'm not doing that. Like, when they say happy holidays, I'm going to say Merry Christmas, like real loud. Ma'am, you can't say that. No, I can't. I can't. If y'all can do what y'all want to do, why Why do I have to take what you're giving me? I don't have to accept that. You're going to say happy holidays to me? Because I was on the phone with one of these companies the other day. And they told me happy holidays. I said, well, have a, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. You're not going to take that out from me. Because that's what y'all, y'all, because y'all afraid of what I'm going to hurt somebody's feelings. Well, you hurt my feelings when you take Christ out of it. Okay, so the feeling is mutual. Maybe we just need to say you have a um, you 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 be good around the holiday, around the Christmas days, or around the I don't know. You need to find something else in the place of it. But to put an uh, X in front of Christ, no, this is not Malcolm X. This this is not what we're doing. This is not none of that. This is I'm gonna I'm gonna say Christmas. I'm gonna say Merry Christmas. <laughs> don't say Happy Holidays to me. What holidays? Because me to me, when you say Happy Holidays, that means you don't left out. Um, you don't left out Fourth of July. You don't left because that's a holiday, ain't it? You saying Happy Holidays? You ain't saying Merry Christmas because ain't ain't you saying it's gonna be on Christmas Day? You still saying Christmas when you say Oh, the twenty fifth is Christmas Day? You still saying it? <laughs> I'm just saying. Why are we picking and choosing when we want to put Christ and take Christ out? We don't forget when when we need him, we start calling on him. I'm telling you, I don't care what you trying to what what God you trying to serve. You gonna need him. You're going to need him. So might as well just take, know who he is right then. That way you won't forget. Listen, I'm just saying. Yeah, I seen that. And they put it on a piece of paper or something. They were saying, we're going to be celebrating, celebrating um, next week. And at the end of it, it was like, happy holidays. No, Merry Christmas. Who wrote this? I know y'all trying to be politically correct and, you know, corporate or uh, companies or whatever. They trying to make sure that they... Um, <laughs> 
that they doing um they not offending anybody but you offended me when you don't put christmas okay all right i'm just saying because you took christ out of it we're not saying happy holidays happy holidays that means you missed my birthday no I'm tripping <laughs> i'm just saying uh people do that <laughs> And then I, I just seen that happen the other day. I was like, why do they still doing that? And you sitting out paper and it says happy holidays. That means you missed a, a lot of holidays. You, I didn't get this when uh, uh, Thanksgiving came around. I didn't get this when, um, what you call it? Um, when all these other holidays came around, you wait till Christmas and you're going to say happy holidays. No, I don't want it. Don't, don't give that one to me. I don't want it. Um, I'm going to see what y'all say in just a second. Um, okay, I can see what y'all see in there. The sun ain't. Oh, thank you, uh, Pastor. How are you? Uh, how are you? Let me see. Hey, lady, how are you? Hey, how are you guys? They listen. I'm just saying, I hear, I hear people saying that or showing people uh, when they sent that paper out last week, they were showing that we're going to be celebrating next week and we're going to be doing this yada, yada, yada. And then it's going to say um, happy holidays at the end. I'm not, I don't like it. I don't want it. Where's Merry Christmas? Because you're going to say, oh yeah, Christmas is on the 25th. You're going to say it then, but you can't say Merry Christmas when you're giving me greetings or when you're ending your letter. No, let's say Merry Christmas. Quit taking Christ out of stuff. That's the problem. Took prayer out of school got all this this foolishness that's going on you don't took all this stuff out of it's come on we got to do better i'm just saying overall there's a lot of stuff that needs to be um we need to stop being afraid and because we we christians or because we we believe a little bit and not all the way doesn't mean that people take that um they take what we have done and work so hard for it to getting people to know who God is and they take that away from us. No, you still pray. I, I, you know, when I was in school, I prayed over my food before I ate. You don't know who back there. You don't know what people thinking. You don't know what's going on. You still pray. Hey, Andrews, how are you guys say? You still pray. You still do those kind of things. Um, but people would love to take that stuff away from us. They would love to take those those things away. We are we because we're Christians, we trying to be politically correct. Why are we going against the grain? Why are we going what people want? Why are we going what people they want us to have, they want us to be? We're not doing. It. I'm not. I can't say we, but I, I'm not. If you saying happy holidays, I'ma say Merry Christmas. If you said we 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 not gonna uh pray in school, I'm still praying. Excuse me. And you have a few of them in there that still do it, but they can't let the people know. If um, Don't say that. You can't talk about Jesus here. But why can't we talk about everything else? But we can't talk about Jesus. I don't want to offend nobody. Well, y'all offended me by not talking about Jesus. Doesn't it work both ways? Why is it just your one way? Well, we don't want to offend nobody. I've never, every time we, we don't want to offend nobody. Well, what are we whispering for? Let's make this announcement. Let's make this out loud and proud. <laughs> you crazy. I know I'm aware of that. But I'm saying, why do we have to take what people have thrown at us to make people feel comfortable? Now I'm uncomfortable because you're trying to make somebody else feel comfortable about what they're doing. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to make it sound good to them. I'm not going to make it be like what they think it should be. Or oh, you hurt my feelings. Oh, you knew this about me from the jump. I'm just saying. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, we're not going to talk about Christmas. No, this is not what this is about. Happy holidays. What does that mean? You tell me what it means. What is happy holidays? Okay. I'm just saying. What is that? <laughs> uh, that's what come on that's what i'm talking about yes that's what i'm talking about people sit up and they always want to they they always say that greetings uh happy holidays um what happened to the merry christmas and a happy new year that's on that ain't that on the song we wish you a merry christmas <laughs> hey how are you guys Zay? we wish you a merry christmas and a happy new year but what we, we don't want to talk about christmas if y'all write it on paper you don't put a big old x on there and that's it. Why are we cutting out Christ? What are we couldn't Christ out for? Like, what does that mean? You can't tell me what happy holidays means. You just saying, hey, Miss Rachel, how are you? How are you feeling today? Guys, they, um, you, you telling people, uh, uh, Merry Christmas. Hey, Lynn, how are you guys today? You saying, Merry, you saying, um, uh, happy holidays, but you can't tell me what it means. 
Because when you say, when I say, I'm telling you, when I see happy holidays, that means you don't miss holidays all throughout the year. This year, I'm just saying, let's just look at this. <laughs> this year, when 4th of July rolled around, what they say, happy 4th. Nobody even know what the 4th, let me say this, and I'm probably going to get in, I'm probably, somebody probably going to say something, and then, hey. Okay, so most of the job that we have is um, overseas or whatnot. But they're off when we off. Like when we get Martin Luther King, they be off. So I asked the question, do they even know who Martin Luther King is? They just looked at me. You're not supposed to. Who? I'm asking a question. Why are they off and they and celebrating something they have no idea what they're celebrating? And when they have their, their days and stuff, we don't get their days. Why not? When they're celebrating, I don't know what it's called. So don't judge me because I don't know. I don't keep up with that. But the other stuff that they do. Oh, I heard this. Listen. Listen. That'll get you together. That's the key. Listen, I'm just saying, if somebody um, does that, <laughs> they always got something to, um, they always doing that kind of stuff. You just ask, okay, how does that affect, how does that uh, relate to me? If you're telling me they get your holidays off and it's more Luther King, I need at least one of them, one person, one somebody to tell me who they think he is and why you're off to cel help celebrate what you don't know. And I'm not getting your days. And they was like, well, because no, that's not, that's not right. That's not right. You telling me happy holidays and you can't tell me what holidays is because nobody said it around 4th of July. Nobody said it around Labor Day. They didn't say it around Memorial Day. They didn't say it around none of these other holidays, Columbus Day. And I think that was not too long ago. They didn't say any of that. Happy holidays for President's Day. But we celebrated it. Why when Christmas come around, we so afraid? We change it to happy holidays. That's just me. I'm just asking a question. Maybe I'm, I'm misunderstood. Maybe I don't understand what it is. But to me, that means you're picking and choosing and you're changing wordings to benefit those that are, that. but you're celebrating. I know a lot of people just say, I don't celebrate Christmas. We don't do Christmas um, or whatever. And that's fine. I'm talking about those that still celebrate Christmas, but don't want to talk about the Christ in Christmas. That's what I'm talking about. Not the ones that... You know, and I'm not talking about those that don't have a problem with it, but I got an issue with happy holidays and it's Christmas. I don't understand. Are we marking out the Christ with an X and putting, using the rest of it? Um, so that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's, that, that's the part I'm talking about. People I always say, happy holidays. When they lady got off the phone with me, I was like, Merry Christmas. <laughs> happy New Year. Ain't no, ain't no happy holidays, man. What holiday? Which one you talking about? Cause we already don't pass the rest of them, and we didn't. I didn't hear happy holidays around those months, those days, none of that. Nobody told me any of that stuff. Hold on. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Take them fries in the house. Put them in the other freezer. I'm starting. Hey, how are you? God's day. What's up? You changed it. You got a new one. You started over. Why you start over? Why are you crying? Why are you cry? What? As long as you do what you're supposed to do. Brown, you started over? You want to start over with a new page? That's what I'm asking about. Can y'all hear me? Make sure y'all can hear me. But yeah, that was my thing about the... Yeah, I love this song. Another faster key. Oh, okay. Well, I added you, so... Um, but anyway, as I was saying, yeah, just think about that when people were talking about happy holidays and all that kind of stuff. They, yeah. Brown, I don't know if you heard us talking about the, um, uh, five hours fasting a day from the time you wake up, uh, up until the end of the year that Bishop is asking us for. Um, oh, okay. I had a notification. Who said I wouldn't? Who said I wouldn't? But anyway, 
um yeah just make sure that um you're fasting if you're not already let's make sure that we are um that we are doing that that's staying in agreement with what bishop is asking for us to do this little thing could be turning hey lady how are you god say um that we're, he's doing what we're asked of us he's asking us to do is to be on one accord with our fasting five hours a day from the time you wake up um doing those great things um let's make sure that we are um doing that and not forgetting the reason why we are who we are how you been i missed you i haven't seen you in forever and forever so if you're not you can start on doing that tomorrow it's not too late we're doing it to the end of the year besides the 25th so you're more than welcome to do that hey 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 y'all already know i always have a laundry list of stuff to tell y'all about to get involved in and to be a part of if you don't already know this saturday at six o'clock p.m we will be hosting our annual christmas party which is um i'm good i'm good um got a lot of stuff i'm trying to get done so yeah <laughs> just busy that's pretty much it um saturday is our annual Chris church christmas po uh, party it will be held at the new freeman chapel missionary baptist church 2219 lamont avenue dallas texas 75216 with a great amazing wonderful pastor is bishop dwight collins listen listen i know i seen that and i was like oh i didn't even know i, I wish i had seen you before you left um but the christmas party is this saturday um uh this saturday at six o'clock p.m um our theme is the ugly christmas sweater ugly christmas sock and ugly christmas hat um you are more than welcome to come we're gonna have fun food fellowship don't miss out on that brown um if you're gonna come i need you to let me know um about that but um do i have this upside down but that will be this Saturday at 6 o'clock p.m. I would love to see each and every one of you. I've been posting about it. You are more than welcome to come and just have a good time with us. We will be. That's something we do every year um, that we have a lot of fun with. We have a good time with. Um, enjoying each other's company. Enjoying each other's fellowship. It's just a wonderful time that we have. And that's this Saturday at 6 o'clock at the New Freeman Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. That you are more than welcome to come and be a part of. Also... <coughs> I apologize on um, let me see if I got this right because I haven't posted this yet, this yet but I will post it hold on okay can y'all hear me <laughs> okay you'll be at work all right um on Sunday um, y'all know I'm always invite you out to church on Sunday at um nine o'clock a.m. We will be doing Sunday school. Can y'all still hear me? Hey, Miss Stephanie, how are you, dear? Sorry, let me get this going. Cause now I can since I don't stop. Let me see. This Sunday morning at nine o'clock a.m. We will be having our um, Sunday school. We're moving Sunday school to 9 o'clock. Um, after which... Okay, let me go out of there. After which, at 10 o'clock, we will be doing um, our youth Christmas program uh, from 10 to 11. So from 9 to 10 is Sunday school. From 10 to 11 is um, our uh, youth Christmas program. And then at 11 o'clock is our Sunday morning worship. I do have this flyer I need to post. Let me go ahead and do that so I can post it. Um, which will be this Sunday at 10 o'clock, the youth Christmas program. They was practicing last night and it's going to be great. So y'all to come out and see them on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock if you can and will at 10 o'clock. We would love to have you. And then 11 o'clock is our Sunday morning worship. Uh, from 11 until when we have some church. So I say until because we be having some church, but we do have a three o'clock this Sunday. Also Sunday at three, we will be having our annual mass choir Christmas program and a Christmas musical. It's a musical. Um, so if you're not doing anything, you want to come on by, you want to worship God with us. We will more be more than excited to know 
that you'll come and worship God with us on this Sunday, all day, all day, 9, 9 to 10 Sunday school, 10 to 11, the youth Christmas uh, program, 11 until will be our Sunday morning worship, and then 3 o'clock will be our Sunday, will be our uh, annual Christmas musical, our choir Christmas musical. We would love for you to come by, sing, soloists, moms, praise dancers, choirs, groups, etc. You're more than welcome. You want to do an, in, uh, an instrumental um uh solo you are more than welcome to do that as well but come on out be a part of this of what we're doing we would love for you to come and worship god with us we always have a great time and we don't want you to miss out on what we are doing on sunday january january i don't skip the all the way up all the way down on sunday i can't wait till i get through with this so i can share this with y'all <laughs> but i'm still waiting on a couple of things um with that on Sunday, January, Jan I keep saying January. On Sunday, uh, December 22nd, we will be having our Jersey Day. Jersey Day is wearing your favorite team. It's not a certain jersey that you have to wear, a certain kind or anything like that. If you have a jersey, you just want to come worship God with us and show people off your, your favorite team or whatever, you are more than welcome to do so. Whatever they may they may be, um, and make sure that it's appropriate for church. I will say that because some people, you know, they'll cut them up and they be all over, kind of, you know, showing a lot of. So, um, so Jersey Day is the fourth Sunday, which is um, the twenty second. I've also shared that flyer as well. So if you've seen that flyer floating around, you'll know that that's us. And here's the flyer that I created. Uh, so this is the Jersey Day flyer. Um, so if you've seen this on social media, you know it's us um, that we will be having Jersey Day. Um, so please come out. It's 11 o'clock Sunday morning worship. We only have one service that day. So come out and be a part of Jersey Day with us on the 22nd. Um, also, I can't tell y'all about that one. <laughs> And I'll tell y'all about that one. So on um, the following Sunday is our Women's Fifth Sunday. Um, you can come by on that fifth Sunday and worship God with us as well. This is the, the Christmas party flyer. If you have not seen this, here it is. This is the Christmas party, ugly Christmas sweater, hat, and socks, or vice versa. It will be this Sunday, this Saturday at 6 o'clock p.m. We're going to have a great time, so please come out, share this flyer, support it. Um, you can't be there, but you want to support. We do have a cash app. Just let me know, and I will give you that information if you want to support what we're doing at New Freeman Chapel. Um, um, then this is the Christmas musical flyer that I have created um to get everyone to come on out to this musical this will be you are invited to come december 15th three o'clock p.m mass choir annual musical christmas musical it will be held at the new freeman chapel missionary baptist church 2219 lamont avenue dallas texas 75216 well the great amazing one for pastor is bishop dwight collins please come on out share with us come and uh share with us in song or whatever or just come and enjoy the service we would love to have you and that's then. And on the 31st, which is a Tuesday, it starts at 10 o'clock p.m. Um, it's our watch night service, New Year's Eve service. Um, I have on here the theme, Giving God a Crazy Praise Until the New Year. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this will be held on December 31st at um, 10 o'clock p.m. So come on out. Also held at the church. If you've seen this flyer floating around. Uh. If you see this flyer floating around, you already know what this is about. Um, to come and be a part of what we're doing over at New Freeman Chapel. Okay? I do. Um, I, last year, we had a phenomenal time. Like, it was absolutely bananas. If y'all go back on our church page, New Freeman Chapel Missionary Baptist Church page, you and go back to, you have to go back because we, we do some, some recording. If you go back um, to the 31st of last year, oh my gosh, you'd be like, oh my gosh, they are really... Listen, we love to have church and we love to give God the praise. Hey, Courtney, how are you guys, Dave? 
we love to give uh, God to praise. So we would love for anybody that can and will to come and be a part of something great that we're doing. So let's review so far of what we got going on. I do have another event in January, but it is almost done. I'm waiting on a couple of people to send me their picture so that I can go ahead and finish this um, this flyer that I have. Um, but I do have an event that's happening in January, but I'm just waiting on these other people to send me their, their information. I'm just waiting on pictures. The flyer is done. I just need to add, um, I think two more, one, two, three. So I'm waiting on two people. I'm waiting on two people to send me their information. And then after that, I will be, um, I will be posting this flyer and getting everybody. Um, oh, they might not. I don't know. Yeah, that's not going to let me do that. But anyway, I just wanted to let y'all know that so that y'all can be prepared and ready. So whatever that may be, I want y'all to be prepared and ready for that. Um, for this event that I have coming up that I would love for each and every one of you to be a part of and to come and, and um, you know, as usual, give God some praise. Y'all already know um, to do that. Also, y'all already know I tell y'all to go, hey, how are you guys today? Um, oh, so I was doing a review here. For the rest of the month, this is what we have. Not only are we fasting for five hours from the time that you get up, up until the 31st of this month is every day besides Christmas Day. Um, the 31st of this month, you will um, fast for five hours a day, starting from the time you get up. Uh, we've been doing that starting Monday. We've been doing that. If you want to, you can jump on board. It's not a requirement. It's not, you know, it's just some things. And it could be something just for you. This doesn't have to be because the new Freeman Chapel is doing this or because our bishop is doing this. We're doing it because this is what, um, he, of course, what he asks us to do. And it's for our own selves as well. So we're doing that. Um, so don't forget about that. On this coming Saturday at 6 o'clock p.m. is our Ugly Christmas Sweater Hats and Socks Contest Party, um, which is our annual Christmas party. Everyone is invited to come. Fun, f fellowship, um, games, gifts, all kind of stuff is going to be happening. Um, so please don't miss out on the great things that God is going to be doing and going to be um, allowing us to have another great day just to celebrate um, as well. So please come on out. That is on Saturday, December 14th at six o'clock PM. You're more than welcome to come on Sunday, December 15th. The first thing we have is Sunday school starting from nine to 10 AM. Then from 10 to 11 o'clock AM is our youth Christmas party program, 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 youth Christmas program from 10 to 11, 11 until is our Sunday morning worship. And then three o'clock PM is our annual, uh, mass choir Christmas musical and that will be at 3 o'clock p.m. All of these events are held at the New Freeman Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. The address is 2219 Lamont Avenue, Dallas, Texas, 75216. Where the great, amazing, wonderful pastor is Bishop Dwight Collins. So come on out. Be a part of that. Um, those great events that we have coming up. Um, after that, on um, Sunday, January. I keep saying January. Sunday, December. Okay, can y'all hear me? Cause this, I keep getting phone calls and stuff. I gotta go, so um, I'm trying to make sure y'all can hear me. Um, so that's on, um, January, 20th, January, I keep saying it. January must be something happening on that day. I bet. Um, December 22nd, our Sunday morning worship, we'll be wearing jerseys, our Jersey day. So you're more than welcome to work, come and worship with us and wear your favorite team's Jersey. Um, doesn't matter what it is or what kind it is, just as long as it's tasteful for church. Um, uh, but you're more than welcome to come and worship God with us as we um have jersey day so come on out december 22nd <laughs> sunday morning worship and be a part of this great um uh, day that we're gonna have on december 31st um we will be having our watch me service which is um on a tuesday night at 10 o'clock p.m um please come on out be a part of that 
uh, taking 2019 out great and going to 2020 even better. Um, knowing what all the things that God has brought you from, from January 1st, 2019 up until today. Um, just giving God praise, even now, giving him praise for how far he has brought you from, but took you from one situation to the next and he didn't have to do it, but I'm glad that he did. And he allowed us together here today all the time, as often as we can. And I appreciate y'all for joining in with me um, every time that I go live and thanking y'all for uh, following me, liking pictures, liking videos, following our other pages, the God's Day page following the New Freeman Chapel Missionary Baptist Church page and also following the Faith Fellowship of Churches page. I posted some pictures on there from last night. I got some videos, but let me make let me check the videos before I post them um, to make sure that they're okay. Because um, we, you know, we just have a good time. We have some church and, you know, even in rehearsal, we have some church. Um, last night, the, the youth had a wonderful time in rehearsal. So that kind of stuff, I have to, you know, it's really, really good. So it's not like we just be... You know, just sitting around, a lot of gagging or whatever. We 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 do some stuff. We work. Um, but anyway, um, come out if you don't have a watch me service that you are will be attending on the thirty first, or you just want to come and worship with us for whatever reason. We would love for you to come and be a part of New Freeman Chapel Missionary Baptist Church Watch Me service on December thirty first at ten o'clock p.m. If you can and will. Um, bring your family, your friends, bring somebody with you, bring your, bring your whole family, bring everybody. Um, we will welcome you and we would love for you to just come and serve, uh, worship God with us. Um, so I'm gonna go cause I got to get up out of here. I want y'all to have a great rest of y'all day. Remember to stay encouraged, hold your head up. Don't let, because the weather is cold outside, they change your attitude or being who you are. Stay who you are. Don't let nobody change who you are. Don't let everybody take you out of your character. Um, it takes one incident, one situation to change your whole life around, and it, it'll change in the blink of an eye. We don't want nobody to be down there for the court system, for none, for, for, for some foolishness, okay? See a lot of that. Um, uh, protect yourself, watch yourself, watch your children, watch your, uh, watch your family. Um, you know, God has already, he's going to already take care of you and watch you and make sure that you are good, but make sure that you're doing it, um, as well. If something don't seem right, it doesn't seem like that's the way it should be. You can change that. You can make that be something different. Um, hold your head up, stay encouraged, be encouraged. Um, let the Lord know that you are still, um, praying about some things that you've been looking for. I'm fasting and praying and I need God to help move and to make things, um, better for me. And we just, in the name of Jesus, we know that it's already done. Whatever you've been praying for, whatever you've been needing from him, he's already going to make it out all right. He's going to already take care of you. Um, but I'm going to go because I got some stuff that I got to, I got to get up out of here. Okay. I want y'all to have a great rest of y'all day. Remember, God loves you. I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.